Hey guys, what's up? I'm Steve and welcome to my world. Today we are going to be putting together another Lego Brickheads from Disney. These are two of the more detailed Brickheads that I put together. There's a lot of detail in the hair of Ariel and her tail, Ursula's tentacles and her hair has got some really good detail. One of the highest piece counts I've ever had too on Brickheads is 361 pieces. Uh, today we are going to be putting together the first one in order. We're going to be putting together Ariel. We'll be putting together Ursula in another video. So um that's what we're gonna do today is put together ariel so we're gonna get this thing open and there's the characters right there i'm gonna go ahead and maybe try to get this thing open there we go i've opened double boxes like this where they're in separate packages and i've also opened them where you got to use them all so this one we have different books for so we're going to be doing ariel's book so we're going to take Ursula's book and we're gonna put her back in there and Ursula is bag number two So this is bag number one for Ariel and this is bag number one for Ariel So we're gonna take the two number two bags for Ursula and we're gonna put them back in there And we're gonna stick her back here in the background Okay, so we're gonna open up our pieces Like this Put them there open up these pieces and throw them on over here and then we had a bag within a bag so we're gonna open up that bag pour all the little pieces out spread these out a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera down so you guys can see what we're working with and with all Legos really high quality toy um, each peg which you can't see that one probably every single peg here if you can see it has the word Lego written on it. So if you're not ever sure, if I can get to focus, if you're never sure, they always have Lego written on them. So then we also have our instruction booklet, which we are going to thumb through to show us how to build Ariel. Okay. So first up, we're gonna take the stand. We're gonna put it in the back. We'll use that last. We're going to start with a piece that looks like this. So it's a black piece. It has a little step in it. It's hard to see from the side. It's got two pegs here, two pegs here, and then two off to the side. We're gonna take that with holding it like this. And we're gonna take an orange two piece that looks like this, and we're gonna stick it on the back side to make that a level platform. And I actually lied. We're going to take that we're going to take this two-piece orange and we're going to stick it right on the front, just like that. Okay, next up, we're going to take this long, uh, let's call this turquoise, or aqua. No, nah, it's called turquoise. Call this turquoise. It's a big, long piece. Looks like this on the end. I'm going to put it right in the middle back here. And then we're going to take a dark blue two-piece that looks like this. And we're going to put it right there. On the front okay then we're going to take a flat smooth aqua piece actually i'm going to call it aqua i guess so we're going to call it aqua we're going to put it right here across the top that looks like this and that is not there it goes okay looks like that okay next up we're going to turn this upside down like this we're going to take two of these aqua pieces that look like this they're one peg blocks and they're really thick and tall because i'm going to move the box out of the way it's causing some focusing issues you think i would know that by now okay so we're gonna take these pieces that look like this we're gonna stick them in the bottoms like this we'll get this all straightened out when we connect it together and we're gonna put another one on the other side that looks just like oops this okay next up we're gonna take a two-piece aqua block that looks like this we're gonna put it in here in the bottom we can do the same thing on the other side. One over there like that. Now we're going to take a two piece orange that looks like this. And then we're gonna take these blue pieces that look like this. Oops, so kind of looks like a washing machine. It's a thick, I can't hold on to it. A thick one piece. It's got a square cut out of the back. It's got an inverted peg on the front. It's got this little lip right here on the bottom. So we're gonna take that and we're going to put them facing the same way. So put one here and one here like this. And then with the 
the little ledges here across the bottom facing towards me and this piece facing like this, we're going to take it and we're going to put it in the back just like that. Okay. So there is that. Next up, we're going to take and take an orange one again, a two-piece orange one. And we're going to take the same piece that we just took except in red. Okay, so it looks like a little washing machine again. We're going to take that and put that right here with the ledge facing forward underneath the orange. Okay. And then we're going to take another one and put it right beside it. Looks like that. And then we're going to take a dark blue two-piece and put it on front of the orange again. Like that. And then we're going to take that whole uh, piece there. We're going to take it and turn it this way. So where those two square pegs are in the back. And we're going to stick it straight down. Let me see here how I'm holding this. We're going to take it straight down and put those in the bottom of this right here. So it all fits up just like that. Okay, <clears throat> next up, we're going to take a two-piece aqua piece that looks like this. And a thick two-piece aqua piece that looks like that. We're going to stick them together down on top of each other. And then we're going to take it and holding it this way. We're going to put it right here on the side, just like that. Okay, then on the other side, we're going to take a piece that looks like this. Looks like a skateboard ramp. Okay, so it's a really big sloping piece with that peg there. We're going to take that and put it on the bottom side, right there. So it swoops out like this. And then we're going to take a regular aqua piece, just a one-piece thick block, and we're going to put it in here like this so there's where we're at okay next up we are going to take and put a one piece aqua like looks like this and we're gonna put it on the bottom of a smooth four piece aqua so we're gonna put it on one side only one side just like that okay and then we're gonna take that piece and fill in the gap right here and put it on that blue piece right there. So there's what we have so far. Alright, next up, <clears throat> we're going to take and put this piece that looks like this. It's the only piece in the set that even comes close to looking like this. So it's got some steps, some curves, some holes, some pegs all around it. We're going to take it and holding it like this, we're going to put a one-piece aqua right here. On this side we're gonna put a one piece on the bottom side to make it look like that and then we're gonna put a three-piece aqua across the top of it to make it look like that then we're gonna take holding this up again with let's see here holding it like this we're gonna take it and put it in here to fill in the gap right there like that okay next up we're gonna take a four piece or a four peg circular disc. We're going to stick it in the middle right here on top of all these. Then we're going to take and put that down for just a second. <clears throat> we're going to take this 16 piece beige part. We're going to turn it upside down. We're going to put a we're going to put a an 8 piece beige piece right down the middle of it. And then we're going to take this very light green piece, these four pieces. We're going to run them up both sides. So we're going to put one there, and we're going to put one over here on the other side, like this. Okay? Then we're going to take and add to that a two piece light green one right here in the middle, like that. We're going to add another one on the bottom, like that. And then we're going to take these aqua two pieces. Look like this. I'm going to run two of them on each side. So one there and one there. And then we're going to put it on the other side as well. One there and one there. Okay, next up we're going to take our piece here. And we're going to flip this back over like this. And we're going to stick it on here with the curved piece down here. We're going to stick these, this pattern here right like that. Okay, oh, I just dropped it. Okay, holding it the same way, we're going to take a 
thick four piece beige. We're gonna stick it right on the ed edge right there. Okay, then we're gonna take and add two of these gray pieces. They're thick two piece blocks. Look like this, and they got pegs coming off one side. We're going to do it where the pegs are coming off to the side. So one there, and one here. Okay? Then we're going to take and turn her around. We're going to take this thick four-piece white circle. We're going to stick it in the middle. Oops, and I grabbed the wrong piece there earlier, guys. One of these has a pattern on it, so you want the one that does not have the pattern on it in the back. Okay? And then you want this piece here to go in here. Okay, now we want to use this piece that's got the pattern with the seashells on it. So we're going to stick it right here, just like that. Then we're going to take another 16-piece beige, and we're going to put it on top of all of that. <clears throat> okay, next up, we're going to take, on the sides, we're going to take and put a four-piece square block on here like that. We're going to take and put... A two piece that looks like this and it has a hook on it. So you got the hook here, two pegs. I'm going to put it down here like this. Those are going to be your hands. And then we're going to put a smooth two piece on the top of it like that to form what we have there. Other side, we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to find a four piece beige. We're going to find another one of those two piece beige with a hook to form her hand on the bottom. And then we're going to find a two-piece beige smooth one across the top, just like that. Okay, <clears throat> now we're going to take six of these pieces, these gray pieces that look like this. They're two-piece thick ones, and they all have four pegs on the inverted side. So we're going to start with putting one in the center on the back, and then we're going to run two on each side, and then one on the other side here. So we're going to put one there, one on the side here, one on this side... One right there, and then two more over on this side here to give us this. Okay. Next up, we're going to take, put that down for just a second. We're going to take this yellow circle. We're going to put this off-colored green, not like a green that we've used so far. It's a four-piece. Okay, we're going to put that on top of it just like this. And then we're going to put another yellow circle on top of that, just like that. And then we're going to shove that down inside there as our filler, right like that. Okay, next up, <clears throat> we're going to take four of these black pieces that look like this. So they're that L-shaped, or kind of, they're stepped. So you got, hard to see, there's two pegs down here, then you step up to these two pegs, and then there's two pegs on the side over here. So we're going to put these on here with... We're going to put the first one here like this on this corner with the two pegs facing this way. We're going to put another one opposite of that one over here with the two pegs facing this way. And then on the back, we're going to put all the pegs facing off the back. So we're going to put one like this. And we're going to put one like this. So I don't know if you can see the pegs on there. There's two there. There's four across the back like that. Okay. Next up, we're going to put... A yellow circle, another yellow four-piece circle right in the middle, like this. Then we're going to put a red solo piece on this side and one on the other side. And then we're going to put an orange two-piece right up here out front like that. Okay? Next up, we're going to take... One of these gray thick pieces, they're two piece with only two pegs on them. We're going to stick it coming off the back like this. Then we're going to take two of the blue, look like washing machines, with the lip on them facing out the sides. We put one there, and we're going to put one right there. Then we're going to take the thick pink block, four piece block, we're going to stick it right in the middle. And then we're going to take two aqua pieces, some thick aqua pieces that look like this. We put one on each side, one there, one there, and then we're going to take two orange two-piece blocks, look like this, and put one on each side here, one there, and one right there. That is what we have so far. Okay, next up, 
We're going to take and put another one of these gray pieces. It looks like this. Two piece with the pegs. I'm going to put it on the front right here, like that. And then we're going to put two of the dark blue two piece pieces right here. Oops, I think it fell something snap. There we go. And one right here, like this. Okay. Next up, we're going to take another 16 piece block that looks like this. We're going to put it across the front all the way there. So it looks just like that. Then we're going to take a smooth beige piece. We're going to put it across the bottom like that. Then we're going to take a two piece beige with the two pegs. Just stick it right there across that. And then we're going to take an eight piece smooth beige one and put it right there. Next up, we're going to add her eyes. <clears throat> All of the Brickhead's eyes are consisted of a circle with a big square and a little square. The big square goes to the upper left. The little square goes to the bottom right. You need to get those lined up as best as possible because they are hard to turn once you get them on there. You can always pop them off and put them back on. Big square upper left, little square bottom right. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, we're going to put these pieces. Well, there's a lot of red in here. Okay, so we're going to take this piece that looks like this. It's got two pegs in the middle. It's got four pegs on the side. Okay, and we're going to put one on each side right here in this hole. So we're going to put one right there. And... Nope, that's not it. Here it is. We're going to put one right here, like this. Okay? All right, next up. We're going to take her and turn her to the side slightly, just like this. And then we're going to put a four-piece block right, uh, let's see here. She's going to go right here, like this. Okay, and then we're going to put a one-piece beige block underneath that block on the right side, towards her front, I guess I should say. And then we're going to put a one-piece red it looks like this. We're going to put it in the back corner over here. All right. <clears throat> so, next up, we're going to take and add a two-piece red right here on top of the black. So, we're going to put it right there. Then, we're going to take an L-shaped beige piece, but it's smooth. We're going to put it in the front, wrap it around like this, just like that. And then, we're going to take a, a triangle piece that looks like this. Okay. And we're going to stick it right on top of this other beige with the pointing, sloping backwards towards the back. Okay, so it looks like that. All right, next up we're going to take an L-shaped red. And we're going to cover up that, uh, let's see here, no we're not. We're going to put it right here, even with this beige piece, triangle piece we put up. We're going to put it up in here like that. Then we're going to take a two-piece red and put it behind it on this side back here, right there. And then we're going to take another two-piece red, and we're going to put it right there, like that, right there. Okay. Next up, we're going to add pieces that look like this. So they got a curve with a ledge, and the ledge has one peg coming off of them. We're going to take one of them and turn it. Oops, I just dropped it. And then I hit the camera. So we're going to take it and put it with the ledge pointing up like this. So we're going to stick it in here like this. Just like that. Okay, then we have another one that's going to go in that gray hole right there. So we're going to put it like this, pointing. Oh no, it just separated her body. That one won't go on there. Hang on a minute. There we go. Okay, let's see here. Put her body back together. It was like this. And her other arm goes back over here. Sorry guys. There, she's back together. Whew, that was close. All right, <clears throat> going back to this side here, we're going to put on a piece that looks like this. So it's got a big arch, and then it's smooth across the top. Okay, so we're going to put that across this piece here. Looks like this, so there we go. Just like that, okay? And then we're going to put a triangle piece, red one, Another triangle piece that looks like this. And we're going to put it with the sloping down right on the corner right there. 
So it looks like that. All right, next up, we're going to put a one of these pieces that looks like this. It's a curved step, so it steps up. It's one piece wide. We're going to put it right here, right underneath that other curved piece we just put in. So we're going to put it right there. Okay. And then we're going to take and put a one piece, let's see here. We're going to put a one piece block right here next to that curb. Okay. Then we're going to put one below it right there as well. Like this. And then we're going to take some of these quarter inch pie pieces that look like this. We're going to put one in here in that corner. And then we're going to put one up here in that corner. So there and there. All right. Next up, we're going to turn her around to the other side. We're going to take a four-piece square block. We're going to put it right... No, that was easy. Right there. Then we're going to take a one-piece beige block and put it right here on the inside towards her front. Oops, there she goes. There goes her bottom again. Okay. And then we're going to take a one-piece red block and put it up here on the blue. Just like that. Okay, next up. We're going to take a two-piece red and put it right across the black, like that. Then we're going to take an L-shaped beige piece that's got uh, smooth, no pegs. Put it right like that, just like we did on the other side. And we're going to take a triangle beige piece, slope it towards the back like we did on the other side, and put it right here on the corner of this, oops, this beige piece right here. So it looks like that. It's a bald Ursula. Oh, no. Okay. I mean, Ariel. It's a bald Ariel. Oh, no. Would work better if I said it right the first time. Okay. So we're going to turn it this way. We're going to take and put a two-piece red right here across there. And then we're going to take another two-piece red and put it on the back over here, on the back side. And then we're going to take an L-shaped red and put it on top of that right there. So that's what we left with. Next up, we're going to take another one of these curved pieces that looks like this. Okay. We're going to put it across here like this. Looks just like that. And then we're going to put two of these pieces, these curved pieces with that ledge on them. We're going to put another one right here in this gray spot. Maybe. And then we're going to put another one over in this gray spot like that. Okay. Next up, we're going to take and put on another one of the curved step pieces. It looks like this. We're going to put it right Let's see here, it's gonna go right here. Next to that, we're gonna put a one piece red block right next to it. And then we're gonna put another one right below it to keep continuing to raise that. So one there. And then we're gonna put these pies, these quarter inch pie pieces in the corners here. One there and one right below it. Maybe if I can pick it up. My fingers aren't working. Okay, right there. So it looks like that. All right. Next up, we're going to take and turn her all the way to the back. And we're going to take four more of these black pieces that have a little step in them. And then they got two pegs coming off the side. We're going to put them on here to where all pegs are facing to the sides. The outside pegs are facing the sides. So put them here with these two pegs facing this way. And one right above it, like this. Turn it around the other way and do the other two. The, oops, not down that far. Do the other two the same way there and there so we have a nice indention here pegs on both sides are there all right next up we're going to take this off colored brown maroon color whatever this is here and we're going to put it smooth we're going to put it across the very bottom just like that okay next up we're going to take and put her down for just a second right there and we're going to grab a six piece white that looks like this okay and then we're going to take and add a four-piece red right on top of it, like this. Then we're going to take a two-piece red 
If I can find it, they're back here. And we're going to add it to the middle red one, like that. Then we're going to take two of the red ones that look like washing machines with the little lip that we talked about. We're going to put the lip facing out towards the bottom. One there. And where the other one? There it is. One right here. So this is what we have. Okay. All right. Then we're going to take and add a big curved step piece that looks like this. It's four wide. We're going to add it right here to that so that it makes it curved. That's what we got. All right. Then we're going to take that whole piece. We're going to pick her back up like this. And then we're going to add it right here into this hole that we've created. And we're going to stick it right there. Okay. So it looks like this. All right. Next up. We're going to take and, uh, let's see here. We're going to put her down real quick again. We're going to take a three-piece red. It looks like this. Okay. We're going to take a pie piece and stick it on just like that. Okay. Then we're going to take a one-piece block, stick it next to it, like that. And then we're going to take a one of those curved step pieces that looks like this. And I dropped it. And we're going to put it on the end like this. Oh, not that one. That one's got a, a peg in it. That's a special one. Let's see here. One that looks like this. So we end up with this. And it looks like a peg on the top. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to take and add that to this side over here with the curved piece up. So we're going to put it in there just like that. Okay. All right, next up, we're going to do the same thing virtually. We're going to take a three-piece red, if I can find it. There it is. We're going to take a two-piece red and add it to the top so it's a little different. Then we're going to take our curved piece, our pie piece, stick it up here like this. Ooh, that's way off. Let me straighten that back up. So it's going to be like this with the curve working that way. This way. Okay, and then we're going to put another one of those stepped up curved pieces underneath on the bottom here. And then we're going to take that whole thing and add it right here. Like that. Okay. Next up. We're going to take and put this down for just a minute. We're going to take a four piece red that looks like this. Okay. And then we're going to put on it a one piece red on the second one in from the right. Looks like that. Okay. Then we're going to put on that this piece that looks like this. It's got it's one of those big curved ones except it's double stepped. And we're going to add that to the top of the one piece we just put in. So it looks like this. All right, on the other side, we're going to put one of those curved pieces that has the ledge. It looks like this. We're going to put it right here, like that. All right, then we're going to take another one of the regular, if I can find it, right there it is, the regular um, stepped up curved pieces. We're going to put it right here on that to make it look like that. Then what we're going to do after that is take one of these big, huge curved pieces with a ledge. We're going to stick it right there like that so it's giving her layers. And then we're going to put a piece of the pie on this side right here like this. Okay? Then we're going to take that whole thing, we're going to pick her up, we're going to move it over to the side, and we're going to attach it right here to the side of her head, just like that. So this is what we have so far. Okay, so next up, we're going to put her down real quick, again. We're going to take a thick two-piece block that looks like this. 
Okay. And then we're going to add to that a regular two-piece block on top of it. So put it right on top of it like this. Then we're going to add a thick, um, a thick one-piece block. Looks like this right on top of that one. Okay. <clears throat> then we're going to take and add to that a regular thin one-piece block right here. And then we're going to put one of those pieces that has a ledge on it. Curved piece with a ledge right here. Just like that. And then another one of those. Um, there it is. On top of that right there. Then what we're going to do with that is to take it. Take her. And we're going to turn it sideways like this. And we're going to put it right there. Okay, just like that. All right, next up, we're going to take and put in a two piece block on the bottom two black ones. So we're gonna take and put it in right here, like that. Then we're gonna take and add a regular curved step piece right here and then another two piece block over here. So we're gonna put her right here. Okay, now we're gonna set that down one more time. We're going to put pick up a two piece block that looks like this. Okay, then we're gonna to add to that one of those curved pieces with the ledge, it's way back there. So we're gonna take and add to that on this end over here Make it look like that. Okay, I'm sorry, hit the camera. And then we're gonna take a regular curved step piece and put it right here off the side like this. So we're forming some more detail. Then we're gonna take another one of these big, huge curved pieces and put it on the side right there. And then we're gonna take another piece of the pie and we're gonna fill it in right there. So there is what we have. We're going to take that whole thing, we're going to pick her back up, and then we're going to take and put this right in those two pegs down here. So we're going to take it and we're going to slide it right up in there like that, cover all that up and look at all that hair. All right. So next up, we're going to put her down briefly. We're going to grab these light green colored piece that looks like this. We're going to take it and hold it like this. We're going to take a two-piece light green and put it right on top of it, right there. Then we're going to take a these green pieces that look like this with a sloped edge on them. We're going to put them facing this way and this way, like that. And then we're going to take this aqua two-piece here, looks like this, and we're going to put it right across the top just like that. And then we're gonna take her tail, we're gonna turn it around just like this, and we're gonna stick it in the bottom here, just like that. Okay. So next up, we're going to take our Ursula, or our Ariel, I'm sorry. She's got her nice little fins now. And we're going to put her uh, facing forward like this. We're going to take and add a six piece red block looks like this we're going to put it right across the middle of the back of her head like that okay then we're going to take and take one of these big arching pieces that goes like that we're going to put it across the back the very back just like that then we're going to take two three piece reds that look like this we're going to put them down we're going to take one of them, I'm sorry, we're going to put one on this side, and we're going to take a four-piece red, looks like this, and put it down the other side, like that. Okay, next up we're going to take an eight-piece red, looks like this. We're going to put it right down the front, sticking off the front of it. Then we're going to take an L-shaped red one, and we're going to put it right here, like this. Okay, next up we're going to take this, two of these, this big sloping red piece. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna put one on one side in the middle, like that. And we put one on the other side, going the other way, like that. Gives her a big slope on the top. Okay, next up, we're going to take and put her down for just a second. We're gonna take a piece that looks like this. It's an L-shaped piece. It's got two pegs on the inside and two on the other side. We're gonna hold it like this, okay? And then we're gonna put on top of that a four-piece red. It looks like that, square. Then on top of that, we're gonna put a one-piece red on the front corner like this. Looks like that. Then we're gonna put a sloped triangle, just a one-piece triangle. Okay, we're gonna put that right here on the other side, so it looks like this, okay? Then we're gonna take a one-piece block again and put it in the back corner that looks like that. All right, then we're gonna take that whole thing and we're gonna stick it right over here on top of her head, like that. Okay, next up, we're going to take this weird piece that kind of looks like this, okay? We're gonna put it over here on this side so it squares off her head like that. And then we're gonna take a piece of the pie again and we're gonna put it in the corner right there like that. Okay, next up, we're going to take and move her back to the forward. We're gonna take a one piece block and we're gonna stick it right here in the corner, like this, okay? Then we're gonna take one of these big step pieces that looks like this, it's got a double step in it. We're gonna put one in the back like this, oops, right there, okay? And then we're gonna put another one in the front, right, oops, wrong way, right here, just a step lower. Okay, looks like that. All right, next up, we're going to take and take a two-piece regular red that looks like this, okay? And then we're going to take and add to that two of these reverse step pieces. They look like, they look like, if it'll focus, hello, this, and we're gonna put one underneath it there, and then we're gonna put one on the other side that looks like that, forming that thing. And then we're gonna pick her back up and we're gonna put this all underneath her head, right, maybe. Hello. Oh, it goes over one. Goes all the way over to the side. Like that. All right, so there's our aerial. We're gonna take our stand now and we're going to take and add to it an eight piece um, smooth black piece. We're gonna put it right one row in, right in the center. Then we're gonna take this smooth two piece black that has two pegs on it, right in the middle of that one, right there. And then we're gonna run smooth two pieces up both sides. So one there and one there. Okay, then we're gonna take our aerial and we're gonna put her in, maybe. She won't go in. There. And there's our Ariel. This is a really cool figure, guys. Look at all that work in the detail of the hair. There is a lot of it. Really, really cool figure. I like the tail in the back. It's really nice. What do you guys think? If you would, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Also, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your support means everything to us. As always, have fun. Thanks for living in my world, and we will see you next time.